Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, my first 2013 vintage port here, uh, Quinta de Nova de Nossa Senhora de Carmo, uh, bottle number 1435. Let's give it a whirl. It's got that thick, heady uh, blackberry essence um, and that slight smell of a winery at vintage. Maybe not um, the out and out. Sometimes in, in really good vintages you get the violet and spice um, aromas coming through. Here it seems more intense fruit um, and um, it, it, it's, I think it's going to be intense but um, yeah, well, 2013 wasn't a great year. I did some uh, uh, reds, uh, Dura reds from these guys uh, a, a while ago and uh, uh, the fruit flavours were nice. Uh, there was a slight greenness to the tannins but they, they were okay but dot dot dot. Anyway, better taste this. And it's much the same as as was with those reds. Um, can't fault the intensity. Um, lots of blackberries, licorice, high alcohol, um, and there's a warmth and there's a, a, a juiciness about the blackberry fruit, but there is this just edge of greenness there. Um, it's uh, the, the fruit. Oh, the fruit already feels quite uh, plush, and I notice the sweetness. I don't notice things being out of balance. Wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those ports that. Um, I mean, if you, if you get a chance to try vintage port when they've just been bottled, uh, they're alarmingly drinkable, especially if you've got a large peppered steak on the side. Uh, but um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those that uh, it remains drinkable for a, a reasonable amount of time, doesn't last too, too long term, but um, gives good, honest pleasure. Uh, so good port rather than great port. Hey, not everything can be great. See you soon.